Welcome back to another session of What's New in Business Central. And on this video, we're going to talk about utilizing Outlook to add attachment to a record for Business Central. Uh, this tool allows you to interact with Business Central without leaving Outlook. So you have a seamless integration and seamless workflow uh, without having to switch applications and manually attaching uh, records. And so to do that, there's a few things you do have to set up. You have to make sure that you have the Business Central add-in, which requires an administrator to, uh, to make sure it's enabled for the whole organization. And on top of that, you know, making sure that uh, you have securities in place. Uh, so you don't want everyone to just be attaching any documents to any records in Business Central. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at an example of a record in Business Central. In this case, we're going to take a look at a customer. Uh, we're going to use Alpine Ski House to kind of take a look at, you know, is there an existing document and where before I jump into uh, using Outlook and attaching a document, uh, you'll see that there's no existing uh, record in there at the moment. So we'll take a look at Alpine Ski House. There's no existing documents. So where this is helpful and beneficial is that if you have a user who interacts with a client, and whether you, you know, they send you a purchase invoice or maybe a sales order that uh, that comes in via email. So rather than manually attaching those records, you can do so directly from an Outlook. So let's take a look at an Outlook here. And we're going to use this as an example. So there's, uh, let's say there's an email that came in from uh, this user. Uh, purchaser or maybe somebody from another, another organization and they had an attachment here and so Ian as a contact here for this customer uh, sent you an attachment and you want to make sure that this record can be associated to uh, the customer card so to be able to do that uh, there is under more actions again you have to enable the business central add-in before you can utilize this and down here, there's a business central option. One is for contact insights, and the other is creating new records, new documents like quotes, invoice orders, and so forth. So this functionality has been here for quite a while. Uh, they are, Microsoft is continually um, uh, expanding this functionality. So small details like this, small add-ons, small features that doesn't seem like a big deal but small stuff like this um, creates bigger impacts uh, because you have seamless integration uh, between the whole Microsoft stack and it allows your users to be more efficient. So for example, Ian has sent me this attachments. I'm gonna go click Contact Insights. Uh, once you log in uh, and you have a licensed, uh, and you're a licensed user for Business Central, uh, you'd have to log in and eventually it will uh, pull up here. Okay, You see a little bit of information about this customer. And what I want to do is attach this record, uh, uh, attach this at attachments uh, to the customer record. So what I would do is click this three uh, dots here. Down towards the bottom, if you scroll further, there's a button here called Attachments. So if I click this attachment, one of the functionalities, and we have to choose a file here, is to attach from email. So whatever is attached to the email, it's going to uh, immediately know what that is and attached. The other option is upload a file. So if you have a file that maybe it's local to your desktop or maybe on your documents folder, you can manually attach that as well. So we're going to try to do both just so you can see that uh, that functionality works. So we're going to go and click attach from email. And it immediately knows that there is an attachment within this email. It's going to give you the name. Okay, so the name is sales order S dash order number. So once you confirm, you can click OK. And it immediately attach the document. Again, this is all live. Uh, so if you have another user 
uh, in your organization who happens to be in this record, they should be able to see this record right away. And so I'm going to click OK here, and I'm going to add another attachment, maybe a product information, product detail, or maybe a, I don't know, a license, retail license, whatever that may be. I can go ahead and click Upload File. And I would need to browse. I'll find uh, an application here so you don't see that pop up uh, from this recording. So I'm going to choose a simple image attachment. Uh, for example, this is helpful for item uh, images, photos, and things like that. So here's my two attachment. One came from the Outlook or the email itself, and then the other one is a manually uploading a file. So once I'm finished and exit out of, the, out of that menu, you'll notice that the attachment is now indicating that there was two, two documents that you've recently attached. Initially, it was zero. So what does this mean from the Business Central side? So we can go ahead and jump into Business Central. You will see that there's going to be two attachments. Let me go all the way back and click Customers. And highlight this customer. So you'll notice that any fact box for records like vendor, customer, purchase invoices, sales orders. Notice that there is now two attachments in here. So you can either access the new attachments here or I can click into the record and you'll see that there's a two attachments. Remember we had uh, the order PDF document and then the second one is just a JPEG. So if I click on this record or drill down, you'll see that those are the two attachments that I recently uh, uh, connected to directly from Outlook. So this is where the benefits, although small, there is a huge benefit of a seamless in, um, uh, integration. So from here, uh, I can quickly share this to the rest of the organization or other departments, and you'll get a pop-up. You're not seeing that right now. Uh, it's just going to uh, say, hey, you consent to be able to uh, interact uh, with this record. Uh, you can also, uh, other option uh, would be is to interact. Uh, oh, there you go. So I can send a link uh, uh, to the other emails that way, uh, or from the attachment, I can open in OneDrive or download the record and, and share it manually that way. So I hope that uh, this small feature, this new small features uh, recently released in April for uh, Business Central 2022 release wave one. Uh, if you find this um, process helpful and you like this kind of content, uh, go ahead and hit the like or, or subscribe to the channel as I continue to add more contents uh, once a week. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you do need to look at the dish additional detail regarding this functionality, you can head down to my website that kind of talks you through uh, in context, in, in text, I mean, and uh, go, you know, you can read more about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next one.